Our reading this morning is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 20, beginning at verse 9. Luke's Gospel, chapter 20, and verse 9. Jesus went on to tell the people this parable. A man planted a vineyard, rented it to some farmers, and went away for a long time. At harvest time, he sent a servant to the tenants, so they would give him some of the fruit of the the vineyard. But the tenants beat him and sent him away empty-handed. He sent another servant, but that one also they beat and treated shamefully and sent away empty-handed. He sent still a third, and they wounded him and threw him out. Then the owner of the vineyard said, What shall I do? I will send my son whom I love. Perhaps they will respect him. But when the tenants saw him, they talked the matter over. This is the heir, they said. Let's kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What then will the owner of the vineyard do to them? He will come and kill those tenants and give the vineyard to others. When the people heard this, they said, May this never be. Jesus looked directly at them and asked, Then what is the meaning of that which is written? The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. Everyone who falls on that stone will be broken to pieces, but he in whom it falls will be crushed. The teachers of the law and the chief priests looked for a way to arrest him immediately because they knew he had spoken this parable against them, but they were afraid of the people. Keeping a close watch on him, They sent spies who pretended to be honest. They hoped to catch Jesus in something he said so that they might hand him over to the power and authority of the governor. So the spies questioned him. Teacher, we know that you speak and teach what is right and that you do not show partiality, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it right for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? He saw through their duplicity and said to them, Show me a denarius, whose portrait and inscription are on it? Caesar's, they replied. He said to them, Then give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. They were unable to trap him in what he had said there in public, and astonished by his answer, they became silent. We know that God will bless to us this reading of his word. Boys and girls, I hope that you're spending the time and the holidays uh, well. Uh, What sort of things are you doing? Could I maybe just think of one or two things? And Do you like dressing up, first of all? That's one of the things I'm sure that some of you do. Do you go and get some very long clothes maybe out of an old wardrobe or uh, 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 some particular place and and you pretend to be someone else, maybe somebody who who lived years and years ago. Maybe you get an old hat that your mama has or your grandmother has and you put it on. Or maybe you pretend to be just a mouse or a lion and dress up like that. Or Spider-Man, do you like dressing up, pretending to be these type of people? You know, whenever we do this, we're, we're just pretending. And uh, 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 it's still you. You, you, you're, you haven't changed into Spider-Man. You haven't changed into a, a soldier or a fairy. It's still, it's still you. But you want others to believe that you're someone else. But you're only doing it for fun, aren't you? You're only doing it to, to make people laugh and have a bit of fun. But the sad thing is, boys and girls, that some people, some people... Pretend to, be, to pe- pretend to be someone else. And what they're trying to do is to deceive, to de- deceive other people. So I want to tell you this, uh, again the story that's found in, in Genesis chapter 27. One of the first books of the Bible. You remember that Abraham, Abraham uh, had a son called Isaac. And Isaac had two sons, Jacob and Esau, and they, they were twins. But Esau was slightly older than, than, than Jacob. When one day, 
after many years, Isaac had go, was very old, and he was so old he, he couldn't see anymore. He was blind. And now, you think if you closed your eyes and thought, uh, if I couldn't see anybody, well, that's what Isaac, Isaac was lo- like that. He couldn't see. And he called in his eldest son, that is Esau, and he said to him, he said, I want to give you my blessing. And he said, go and get me some food and come back and I'll eat it and I'll give you my blessing. Now, this was very important for Esau was to get the blessing because he was the eldest, not Jacob. But whenever, whenever Esau went out, Rebekah, who was Isaac's wife, And the mother of these two boys, she had heard what was being said and and she went and said to Jacob, look, your father is going to give the blessing to, he's going to give the blessing to, uh, uh, to Esau, but I want you to have the blessing. Jacob said, but sure, I'm not the, how can I get the blessing? I'm not I'm not the same as my brother. My brother, he, he, he's always out in the fields. He wears special, different clothes than me. And as well as that, he's a, he's a very hairy man. Well, Rebecca said, look, I'll get you fixed up that you'll look and you'll, fit, you'll seem to be like, es- uh, like Esau. And so Rebecca got some of Esau's clothes and dressed Jacob up. And she got some hairy material and put it on his arms because he was a, uh, Esau was very hairy and Jacob wasn't. And she did all this and she made some food and she gave it to, to Jacob and she set, sent him in to, to Isaac, his father. And Isaac, uh, Isaac couldn't see. And Jacob said, I'm Esau. There was Jacob pretending to be Esau to deceive his father. And the old man was a bit suspicious. And he said, are you Esau? And Esau, or Jacob, went over beside him and let him smell the clothes. The clothes was the clothes of Jacob, or the clothes of Esau. He went over and he touched his arm and it was so hairy. And that's the, that's the type of arm that, that Esau had. And he said to him, are you Esau? And Jacob said, I am Esau, give me your blessing. And of course then, Isaac gave Jacob the blessing, even though, even though he, it should have been for Esau, even though, even though uh, Esau was out getting the food and coming back and hoping to get the blessing. And he wasn't very long He wasn't very long, Jacob wasn't very long out from his father whenever Esau came back and went in to his father. And how sad, how terrible it was whenever Isaac realized that Jacob had deceived his brother Esau. Boys and girls, many people pretend some people pretend to be honest, and they're not honest. Some people would, would say that they, they want you to do something, and all the time they're trying to deceive you. They're trying to cheat. They're trying maybe to, to, to do, get you to do something that you know is not right. But the sad thing, most saddest thing of all is some people pretend to love the Lord Jesus. They want their friends and their neighbors to, to think that they love Jesus. But all the time they don't. All the time they don't. You see, boys and girls, whenever you dress up as a, as a pretending to be a nurse or a soldier or a sailor or something like that, you're pretending. You're, you're not trying to prove that you're one of those. But the sad thing is that sometimes, boys and girls, there are people who say, look, I love Jesus, and they don't love Jesus. They're pretending all the time. And so I would say to you, boys and girls, never pretend to be a Christian. Always, always remember, God sees your heart and he sees mine. And he knows if you love him or not. Do not pretend to love God, but open your heart to him and love him truthfully day by day. Trust him with all your heart. Follow him every day. Don't pretend, boys and girls, but listen very, follow Jesus and give your heart to him 
always.